Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I first want to give a thanks to all of you guys who've been rocking with me and tapping in since the beginning. We have just came up on 6,000 subscribers. A lot of work has been going in, and I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for that. All right, so without further ado, let's talk about this house right here behind me, which is a uh, rental property that I own. And uh, I probably brought this house about like maybe four years ago. And uh, I actually bought this house for like $7,500. It was a foreclosure. I did a lot of work to it and I got it ready for rental. Okay. So after I got it ready, did all the work, uh, I had a tenant that moved in. That tenant stayed in this house for like four years. Okay. And so now what I have to do is go in and get it ready and turn it over for another tenant. And this is what a lot of people don't talk about. OK, and so I want to give you guys the real and I'm going to take you inside so you can see uh, some of the work that I have to do to flip it and get it ready for another tenant. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video. All right, you guys. So this is the house. This is the exterior. And we're going to go inside real quick. The tenant did move out without paying. And so they uh, moved out and I think it was like two months behind. And so I am going to go after them for those two months sometimes it's best to just you know wait till they move out instead of trying to go through the eviction process because when you go through the eviction process sometimes it's still hard to uh get the eviction or the judge grant the eviction and it smells horrible in here because i came in and i had cleaned it out because they left the refrigerator and a lot of whew, That's horrible, but you can see it. They really didn't leave it in bad shape. It has a lot of room for me to get it together. Won't take a long time to turn it back around. But as you can see, like this stuff like this, you know, I have to get a dumpster and uh, bring a dumpster in to get all of this stuff out. So that's a cost to me. And we'll just tack that on to uh, the two months that they are behind for. And it's kind of dark in here, no power is on, but uh, these are the, the bedrooms. And uh, I could tell they've been smoking in here. The uh, carpet has to come out. And so we will replace that. Y'all can see the mat. I mean, I'm sorry, that's the uh, bed mattress. So that has to come out too. So, and then this is a big old den room. It's dark back there, so it's kind of hard to see. And then this is uh, the bathroom. So we have to come in and get this thing together and uh, get it looking very presentable. I will do some upgrades in here because um, I'll probably rent this house out for about uh, close to 900 bucks because it does have a uh, garage on the back as well. So I do have quite a bit of work to do out here, but uh, I will get it done. We got to get it cleaned up. As you can see, you can see the garage on the back side right here so um and then i have to probably put some hardy plank on this and uh for protection and uh get this all together um but overall nice property uh again i paid like seven thousand five hundred dollars for this property it was a well fargo uh, foreclosure that i purchased uh four years ago and it has made me money um again what i normally do is i'll go up on the rent once a tenant move out that's normally what I do when a tenant moves out. So just because a tenant moves out without paying, that doesn't make it necessarily a bad thing. But again, if you have the proper systems in place, when a tenant does move out, when you can flip the property right away and get it uh, prepared for another tenant, you know, when that tenant does move out, it really doesn't uh, hurt you. And um, to add on to what I'm saying is I don't have a mortgage on this property. And so with it sitting, I'm not, you know, incurring any costs. Now, if I had a mortgage on the property, then of course I would be incurring costs. And, you know, that's the downside of having a mortgage. And this is also the downside of the rental business that no one really talks about or uh, really kind of show you guys the process. So, 
you know, this is just a part of the business. And, you know, when you get into this business, you know, people will leave. People won't pay. You will have evictions. And if you don't want to be on that side of the business, then I would suggest that you start flipping properties and just go to the next one. OK, but this is like for me, this is a great retirement setup. I like it. I've been doing it for a while. And of course, this is why people uh, there are a lot of uh, tired landlords out there because they get tired of having to go in, fix the property up, get it prepared, get it ready for another tenant. And then that tenant may not be best suited for the property as well. So a lot of times landlords go through different tenants. They get tired. And this is why a lot of people, you know, just don't like uh, rental properties. But for me, it has worked well for me and i've been doing it for a while and so this is why i continue to do it okay so i hope that this video was very informative i hope that this video will be able to help you on your next real estate investment journey i appreciate you guys for tapping into the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video peace out